Welcome to Besiege Boss, the real home of robotic combat in Besiege. This episode will feature the semi-finals, followed by the fight for third, and then of course the grand final that will determine our tournament champion, as we complete the Antweight Armageddon tournament. So without any further ado, let's get into our first semi-final matchup. And we're underway with the first fight of the finale for Antweight Armageddon. We have Oops taking on Xander. Team mistakes are made against the Diddlers in this one. The Netherlands versus the UK. These teams have fought many times before. I think the Diddlers generally have a winning record against Team Mistakes. A good flip early from Xander there. Oh, and Oops is up and into the pit. Quick win from Xander, they make it to the final to compete for the crown, and Oops will have to take their chances in the fight for third. And here we go, fight number two to determine Xander's opponent in the finale and who Oops will be fighting in the fight for third as we have Ant taking on Slant, which won't be confusing to commentate at all. Slant with some good flips early. Team Archaeon, no strangers to making the top four, I believe having only missed the top eight on a single occasion in, I believe this is their tenth tournament or something like that. It's some ridiculous streak of tournaments, uh, making the top four. As Ant continues to get flipped by Slant, Slant has proven to be probably the most powerful flipper in the competition, other than maybe Ember was similarly powerful, with those long forks providing a lot of leverage. Good driving so far from Slant, Ant having trouble self-riding. But they're back up now, and a nice little flip there from Ant. Team Caffeine also no strangers to making semi-fans. Ooh, is Slant almost oodles itself over the high wall trying to flip Ant. They gotta be careful of that, especially near the lower walls on the sides of the arena. Jockeying for position, Ant kinda got the better of that, but Slant gets under near the pit but couldn't flip Ant. There's a good flip, gotta keep themselves away from the pit though. Another nice flip. They're throwing themselves as high as they're throwing Ant, but Ant is managing to land... They're managing to land the right way up while Ant's usually inverted. Ant's just getting flipped around a lot by Slant here. We'll see if Ant can- there we go, nice little flip there. Ooh, they're jockeying for position, good- another good flip from Slant. Ant misses on a lift of its own. Nice flip, they're under, looking to throw Ant toward the pit. Ooh, almost got the pit there, not quite though. This is a pretty dominant performance so far from Team Archaeon, really only losing control for a couple of moments. And almost ootering themselves that one time, but so far it's been a solid showing. And not really finding position, another nice flip from Team Archaeon. Some very good driving. But, uh, Ant was holding its own there, but turned and got flipped. Ooh, another one near the pit there. Ooh, as Ant threw Slant up near the pit. These matches can turn very quickly with those pits and how strong these flippers are. Both have shown capable of getting pit KOs. And struggling to self right. This is not where they want to be right now. So they get back up and they get away from the pit. Good job there. Nice little flip. Ooh, as they miss on a second. A good throw there from Slant. We're getting close to the judge's decision now. Unless Slant gets another last second 
pit KO like they pulled off in the quarterfinals. But that was a fight they were losing. This is a fight they're most likely going to win. Unless they get taken out by a last second pit KO. But it doesn't look like they will since it's probably going to be too late for Ant to get up now. And that's time. We'll see how the judges saw that. And yep, Slant takes a pretty comfortable 25 to 20 decision, winning on every category except damage. So Ant will face Xander in the finale, and uh, Ant will take on Oops in the fight for third. Here we go with the fight for third between Oops and Ant. We have Team Caffeine, the champions of Middleweight Mayhem 2018, up against Team Mistakes Were Made, who were the runners-up from Beetleweight Bash in 2019, which was the last tournament before Spring Bash Cup. So both teams very competitive, uh, especially uh, Team Mistakes Were Made in these lower weight classes tend to be a very competitive team. So far, getting good uh, lockdown with that wedge on Ant. Oh, but Ant manages to slide under there and get a lift. I think Ant got a couple lifts before as well. Uh, it seems interesting. Oops is trying to get to the side, which is smart, because they're actually losing out on the wedge battle, which is quite surprising. They've, that's the one thing they've been managing to stop most other bots from being able to get under them is how they've been winning a lot of their fights. But Ant actually is managing to out-wedge here. Possibly due to the stability of their legs, just providing no bounce up on their wedge. Oops, doing a good job trying to get around to the sides. Some slick movement there. Obviously, team mistakes were made, very much known for being good drivers. In that beataway bash tournament, won the best driver award as well, as the runner-up. So, they're doing a good job so far, but Ant, when it gets its wedge involved, has managed... Ooh, there was a good job from Oops, Ant got frustrated and lifted that wedge up, and then Oops took advantage to get in front. There's been a good stretch of control from Oops, with Ant getting like a couple stretches in there with good flips. It's a very back and forth match at the moment. Ooh, Ant was under for a second there, but wasn't able to pull the trigger in time. Ooh, another nice attempt there. Almost managed to get them, but Oops got out of danger pretty quickly. Oh, they end up on top while they were trying to do their spin move there. That was really well done from Ant to just stop and wait for the spin move. Ant does a good job. Oops, bouncing off there. Ant pressuring Oops toward the pit. Ooh, Oops with a nice little pin. This has been a back and forth. Ant had a lot of control early on, but Oops has had a lot more control through this mid portion. Ooh, and a nice flip there from Ant. But now Oops struggling to get around. Problem is, Oops is having a lot of trouble actually pushing Ant anywhere, and Ant is getting these flips. So even though Oops is... Getting around to the side, they're not getting a lot of pushing done. His ant with its weight advantage is quite tough to push around. Another nice flip from ant. Oops, misses on a shove attempt there. Nice little flip from ant, and they try and trap oops on their top there by uh, clamping them with the lifter. That was some smart play from ant. Oh, Ant got under for a second, but missed on the flip, avoided the little attempt at a flip using the self-rider from Oops. As we're coming up on time here. We'll see how the judges saw this fight. It was a very competitive one. 
That's a 24-21 for Ant. So the Funny Walker takes third place yet again. Uh, as is tradition for Team Caffeine, getting top four with their Walker. And congratulations to Oops, who had a great tournament and finished in fourth place as well. The first fight of the grand final, Slant taking on Xander. See who will get the crown. Will the Diddlers claim their second crown, or will Team Archaeon claim their fourth title and extend their record even further? Good pushing and flipping early from Slant. Xander having a lot of trouble. Slant really getting them close to the pit. Xander is going to need to get up. And Slant comes in with a good little flip. Kind of missed the flip there. Xander having a lot of trouble. And Xander is in the pit. That's a quick win in this first fight in the grand final for Slant. We'll see if Xander can bring it back in match number two. Fight number two of the finale as we see Slant take on Xander yet again. If Xander can win this match, they can force a third fight and potentially still win the crown, but if Slant wins, it's all over and Team Archeon will have their fourth tournament championship. Winning almost half the tournaments they've entered, which is an absolutely insane feat. Ooh. Good flip there. Xander stuck near the pit, which is exactly where they were in the first fight, and they definitely don't want that to happen again. Well, there we go. Some signs of life from Xander getting under a slant there. That's good for the diddlers. Managing to lock horns. Oh, but slant gets under yet again. Xander managed to make it away there, and Slant couldn't capitalize. Oh, good push from the Diddlers as they push Slant up near the pit. Looking to get a pit KO right back onto Slant, but can't quite manage it as Slant gets away from the pit a little bit. Now Xander in some more trouble, but gets away from the pit. But now back near the pit, Slant's got them lined up, but misses the flip. Ooh, Xander takes his time to pause and try and... Ooh, nice from Xander there, getting under Slant. There's a... Ooh, Slant gets a big flip. Xander in trouble, having trouble landing the right way up. But Slant misses the flip there. Ooh, Xander just manages to avoid Slant getting under it and being able to flip it near the pit. There's another nice one from Slant as they look for the Udo on Xander. Xander misses on that lift. Nice flip there from Xander there. Slant escapes, gets another big flip onto Xander. Xander stuck in the corner with Slant here. Slant starts throwing them towards that pit. Ooh, not quite. Slant having some trouble lining up the potential pit care. Now over into the red corner. Xander really hasn't been able to land too easily. And there's another nice throw. This is good work so far from Team Archaeon as they get Xander near the pit once again. Another little flip. They gotta line it up. They're not lining their flips up too well. Ooh, very close on that attempt. And there they go, Xander is into the pit, so Slant wins and Team Archaeon capture their fourth tournament title, extending their lead on the competition to two 
uh, tournament wins over the next closest team. But Xander finishes runner-up for the Diddlers. Still an excellent tournament run from them. Congratulations to both teams. With that, Antweight Armageddon comes to a close. Before we get into the outro, I of course have to congratulate our podium teams. Taking 4th place, we have Team Mistakes Were Made with Oops. In 3rd place, we have Team Caffeine with Ant 8. Our runners up are the Diddlers with Xander 10. And of course, our champions who add the 4th crown to their ever growing collection, Team Archaeon with Slant. Of course, a final thank you to all the teams who helped make Antweight Armageddon a great tournament. Coming up on the channel are the earlier talked about Besiege Bot's introduction video that will run down our tournament structure and formats as well as our combat and judging rules, and a video introducing our new arena that will be used going forward. We hope you enjoyed this tournament, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and consider subscribing. If you're interested in joining our community, follow the Discord link in the description. From everyone in the Besiege Bot's Discord, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you soon.